Hey guys, today I am just finishing up this customer's bike. I've had it in here for a while. There's a lot of work to do on it. I'm just into the last little piece of the puzzle here. We'll be dealing with that LED headlight in a couple of moments. Uh, this bike, it's a 94 Electroglide Classic. It, uh, it's very similar to mine. Mine is basically the same model. Mine's just a 2002. This is a 94. This is the uh, 80 inch Evolution. Mine has the twin cam 88. Uh, just different engine, but similarly equipped. I had to fix some grounds, fix the wiring in some of the clearance lights on the tour pack. I had the motor, the engine tore down, the jugs were off, the cases were left. I had to uh, pull the pistons and pull the cylinders out because I had to replace the base gaskets down in here. The gaskets at the base of the cylinder were leaking oil. Uh, so the entire top end of the engine had to come off. Gas tank I had to fix. There's a little tube underneath here. If you spill fuel under the cap, there's a little tube that will drain the fuel away and it drops it down under the bike safely out of the way so it doesn't get all over the paint. I had to fix that. Uh, what else? Oh, front forks. Took the front forks off, both of them. Rebuilt them, put them back together. New seals, bushings, whatever needed to be done. I uh, had to replace this chrome guard around the fender that had been damaged. So I replaced that. And now, well, that's, a, that's as far as, oh, I did a bunch of maintenance. I did a, a transmission fluid change, the primary fluid change. I adjusted the clutch. I adjusted the clutch cable. I adjusted the primary chain. So a lot of maintenance that uh, needed to be done. But on to the last thing here is the headlight. He was mentioning to me that when the headlight's on, he's got no radio reception. So, uh, I actually came across that a very similar issue with my bike when I put the LED light in mine. Well, I, I put the LED light in mine as a different brand. I'm not sure what brand this is. It is aftermarket. When I put my light in my bike, I didn't have an issue with the radio. But after that, about a year after, I decided to add speakers. I put speakers in the top of my saddlebag lids and I added a 300 watt Rockford Fosgate amplifier under the fairing. And as soon as I did that, then I was getting interference from the headlight and it was going into the amplifier and it was completely blanking out the FM radio. So if the headlight was on, FM radio wasn't making any noise. So I'll just show you what's, what's going on here. Uh, we'll do a quick diagnostic first. So let's pretend that you're having an issue. I'm gonna try and do this one handed. Get that plugged in there. Oh, that's hard. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. There, it's in. Okay. So the complaint, this is the way it was when he was uh, complaining about it. Feel the static. The headlight is on. And he's got static. So Let's turn the spots on. This has the auxiliary spot lamps. So we'll turn them on. We have all the lights working. They're all on right now. You're probably getting a blinding flash on the camera. Let's unplug just the headlight and see what happens. So the spots are still on. They're not causing interference. And there's a the radio. So the headlight is causing an issue. So what I did with mine is I did a little bit of research and I found a company that makes an active filter. So I purchased one from my motorcycle and I installed it and it worked just fine. Worked really, really good. So we're going to do that today. The name of the company is Siren Motor. I am not getting paid. This is not a sponsored video or anything. Uh, it's just video to let other people experience us. We'll give them a little bit of a hand. You can go to their website, sirenmotor.com. This is a registration link, but anyways, you can go to this link here. They have numerous different products, all different kinds of things, actually, not just this. They have all kinds of different things for radios and lights and all kinds of neat stuff. This is the unit itself. This motorcycle has an H4 type bulb. So this is the type of plug that would be on the back of the headlamp. The part number for this kit is right here. 
where the two X's would be replaced with H4. So this this kit is the uh, H4 version. There's the part number. There are different types of connectors for headlights. So the two X's tell me that this company does make different style of filters for different plugs. It's it's a plug and play. There's no hard wiring. You just put this in line with the headlight and it fixes the problem. So let's get that going here. Hang on. We'll get this filter plugged in. So we'll plug it in this harness first. Again, one-handed. Might be adventure. Come on, you can do it. That one's in. And we'll plug the headlight into this end. Before I finish up this install, I'll, I'll tuck all this wiring up inside the fairing and I'll zip tie it. Ideally, you want to have the, the headlamp wire, the filter, all of this, these items, you want to have it as far away from the radio as possible. Your antenna lead that comes out of the back of the radio towards the back of the bike, you want to have that as, way, as far away from the, the headlamp and the wiring as possible. But there, there's the uh, unit. It's that easy to install. Let's have a look here. So we have stereo. The short spot's off. And the headlight's on. Hey, we got a radio with the headlight on. We'll just flip it over to accessory. When we flip it to accessory, the radio retains power, but it shuts the headlight off. So we'll turn it on and off here. Works perfect. That's all we need. Now this item was, I got this one from Amazon for the customer because I wanted to get it quick. Uh, my own, when I when I purchased mine, I got it right from the Siren website. Or Siren or, I don't know how you pronounce it, but that website, I got it right from them. The shipping took a little longer. Uh, for mine, I didn't care. For this one, I wanted to get this this job done and buttoned up. I got lots of other stuff that needs to come in the shop this winter, so I wanted to just get this one finished up. But uh, jump on that website. I'll put a link below in the description. And... Uh, if you're having an issue with LED headlights causing static in your radio, um, this is uh, quite possibly the easiest fix. Um, so, from here, I'm going to cut this one off. A nice short video today. I didn't take any footage of any of the other repairs on this motorcycle. Uh, it was uh, too cold out here. It wasn't uh, getting into engines and stuff. It's... Uh, it's a little too tedious and time consuming to get to worry about working a camera. When I mean, you can take an eight hour job pulling that engine all apart, that eight hour job turns into an 18 hour job by the time you're moving around cameras and tripods and lighting and getting all that other stuff going. So anyways, so with that, this is going to be the end of the video. Uh, thanks for joining me. If you liked what you saw, if it helped you out, please click that thumbs up like button and uh, don't forget to subscribe if you like the rest of the content on my video, my video channel here. Uh, have a look at my other videos. I got a couple of Harley ones for different things, docking kits and some maintenance and other things like that. Some small engine work. The channel is random wrenching. I wrench on just about everything. So, till the next video, guys. Thanks for joining. Take care, and we'll see you later.